Today's video is on depth first search algorithm and this topic is from graph theory. So this algorithm helps in constructing a spanning tree. So there are two algorithms for constructing a spanning tree. One is breadth first search algorithm. I made a video on that and the next one is depth first search algorithm. Please have a look at that and it will be very very easy and important. And now DFSA is also known as backtracking. So here is an algorithm. The steps are very clear here. We have to choose a vertex from the graph and designate it as a root vertex and push it into the stack. First thing, so we have to choose any one of the vertices as a root vertex and we have to mark it as a visited and we have to put it in the stack. And next one, we have to visit the adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited and we have to push into the stack. If there is no unvisited vertex, then pop the top element of the stack, take backtracking. And again, we have to repeat the step two. What is the step two? We have to visit the adjacent unvisited vertex, mark it as visited and push it into stack. And next, we have to repeat step two until the stack is empty. So this algorithm will be very clear after listening to this example. See here, using depth first search algorithm, we have to find the spanning tree for the given graph. So this is the graph given. See here, this is the graph given. So now we have to make a spanning tree using DFSA. First one, according to the first algorithm, here what is uh, said, so here it is said that we have to take any one of the vertex as a root vertex. So this is A. And we have to push it in the stack. So now I am keeping in the stack. Clear? And the next thing here is again we have to take, we have to visit the adjacent vertices. So here one is B and one is D. You can select any one of them. So now I am selecting this one B. I am selecting this B as a vertex which is visited and if I visit this one so I have to push it in the stack clear and the next one after that B I am visiting this is C see here after visiting the C so I have to push it in the stack and next one from C they are two children three children that is E F and G now I am selecting this left child. So this is E. If I visit any vertex, adjacent unvisited vertex, I have to push it into stack. Clear? And next from, from E, they are two adjacent unvisited vertices. So one is D and one is F. So I am visiting this left child that is D. If I visit any vertex, we have to push it into the stack. See, after that D, there are no unvisited adjacent vertices. So, one is A and one is E. So, both are visited. From D, there is no chance to go anywhere. So, just if there is no way to go, we have to cancel the top element in the stack and we have to take a backtrack. So, here, how we will take a backtrack? Here, there is A and E. So, from the next top element in the stack, we have to take a backtrack. That is E. So, I am going to E. So, from E, we have to search any unvisited adjacent vertices. So, F is unvisited adjacent vertices. Now, I am visiting this vertex, unvisited vertex of E. And just if I visit any vertex, so we have to push into stack. And from F, see here, F has three adjacent vertices. One is E, one is C and one is G. So E and C are visited and now I have to visit this G. So after visiting this G, if I visit any vertex, push into stack. Next, from G, where I have to go? So from G, there is no root because all are visited. There are no unvisited adjacent vertices. Then pop the, if there is no root to go anywhere, just pop the top element of the stack and go to the next top element that is F. So now I have to take a backtrack. So this is, I am going to F. 
so from f also there are no unvisited vertices if there are no unvisited vertices there is no root to go just pop and go to the top element of the stack that is e so after popping we have to take a backtrack e so from e also there are no unvisited vertices every vertex is visited then pop it and just go to c so here if i take a backtrack like this a c from c also all are visited there are no unvisited adjacent vertices just pop it and take backtracking so the next top element in the stack is b so i have to go to b so if i go to b here and search are there any adjacent unvisited vertices no so there is no route to go anywhere just pop and go to the top element a so a is also visited all the adjacent vertices are visited if there is no way just pop it so the whole stack is empty so this gives you that is from a we have to start this gives you the stack that is a b c e d f g so these vertices forms a spanning tree so this is how we have to uh, write if we, if it asks for a short answer and if it asked for an essay question just please make a note and it will be very clear so find the spanning tree for the given graph using this dfsc so first one select vertex so select any vertex here so which vertex i am going to select here is a so now i am going to select a vertex and now i am going to push it in the stack so here is the stack i am pushing in the stack so i have to mark it as a visited one and and push a into the stack the first step which you have to write is next step is visit the adjacent unvisited vertices of a so what is the unvisited vertex here a and push the newly visited so the newly visited one is b here so the b i am going to push it in the stack so this is b i am going into i am going to push this b into the stack clear and step 3 from b visit any adjacent unvisited vertices of b so from b what is the unvisited vertices c so this is c and uh, now push the newly vertex c into the stack so this is a c i have visited and now i am pushing into stack and the fourth step here is from c visit any unvisited um, visit any adjacent unvisited vertex of c from c i am choosing this e visit any adjacent unvisited vertex of c and push the newly visited vertex that is e into the stack see here now i have visited this e and after visiting i have to push it into this one stack and next one step uh, this one visit any un adjacent unvisited vertex of e from e see here we have to visit any unvisited vertex so i am choosing this d and now see here d now i am pushing this d into the stack see this d is visited now and after d just is there any way is there any way to go from d see here visit any ad, uh, adjacent unvisited vertices of uh, d so from d we have to visit any unvisited vertex so there is no vertex from d to visit now just pop it then see here we have to pop d so we have to then pop d from the stack clear after popping d so we have to take a backtrack so back tracking should be done so from d i have to take a back track to e from e so visit any adjacent unvisited vertex of e from e what is the unvisited vertex and push this vertex so push f into the stack so now see here i am visiting this f and i am pushing it into the stack so here i am pushing f into the stack and eighth step here is visit 
any adjacent unvisited vertex of F. So what is the unvisited vertex of F? This is G. And now push G into the stack. So now I have visited this G. Clear? And next step 9 from G. See here. From G is there any way to go? Any unvisited vertex is there? No. From G there are no vertices. So there are no vertices. Then pop this G. Now I am going to pop this G. And next one step 10. See here from G the top element here is F. Now visit any un unvisited vertices of F. There are no unvisited vertices of F. Now just pop F. Just I am popping this F. And the next step here we have to take is E we have to select. Visit any adjacent vertices of E. So from E there are no any unvisited adjacent vertices. Now just pop E. Just I am popping this E. And in the next step here. So from the top element we have to visit this C. C. I am just from the top element I have to visit C. Visit any unvisited vertices of C. So from C there are no unvisited vertices then pop C. So this is C. And next from C the top element is B. From B, visit any unvisited vertices of B. From B, there are no unvisited vertices. Then just pop B. So just pop this B. And next one, from B, the top element is A. Now see here, visit any adjacent unvisited vertices of A. There are no unvisited vertices from A. And therefore just pop A. Just pop A. So here the stack is empty. So here each and every element is from the stack is empty. Therefore the stack order here is this is A, B, see here A, B, C and the next thing here is E, next D, this is F and G. So these are the vertices which gives you a spanning tree. So this is how This is how it helps in uh, constructing a spanning tree from DFSA. Hope you all guys understand this is the most important. I took a lot of time to construct this one. Each and every step if you write in the uh, examination, you will get a good score. And thank you so much for watching. I gave you a clear cut idea. Whenever you visit any vertex, you just push it into the stack. And whenever you don't find any route to go anywhere deep into the graph, just pop it. And just take backtracking and next search the top element in the stack and next visit the vertex mark it as a visited vertex and just push it into the stack if you find any route to go anywhere push it in the stack if you don't find any route to go just pop it and just take backtracking and again repeat the same process until the stack is empty and this is nothing but dfsa thank you so much for watching if you really like and understand this concept you can Clearly do any problem by your own and please pass it on to your friends. If you really like, take time to raise your thumb and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.